Hello, this is Dave Meyer at SeniorPortraitPosingGuide.com and this is Posing and Lighting Video Lesson Number 4. In today's video we're going to walk through the pose and the lighting setup for this image of a high school senior guy playing the flamenco guitar. This particular image uses lighting setup number 3 in Volume 1 of the Portrait Photography Posing Lighting and Idea Guides 4 volume set. Download all four volumes completely free at www.senior portrait posing guide.com so let's get started and take a look at this image so here on the screen on the right hand side you see this image and then another one hidden underneath there that I'm going to show you in just a minute and then on the left side here we have kind of a layout of the studio and uh, the lighting setup this is one of my all-time favorite images I really like the kind of the theatrical look of this image. Whenever I photograph a senior, a high school senior, with an instrument, I always ask them to play. I don't say pretend to play, I just ask them to play. I'll get the lighting set up and I'll ask them to play and then I'll just snap away while they're playing, trying to catch them in that intense moment of concentration and that's in fact what this guy was doing and he was wow I'd never heard anybody play the flamenco guitar before and this kid was really good at it I you know, he may have been really bad at it I don't know but it, it sounded really cool to me and, and he, he just did an amazing job I thought um, so again this is this is one of my favorite images it uses as you see over here lighting setup number three in the in the uh, lighting guide that you'll find but with a little bit of a a little bit of a twist number one we didn't use a fill light on this particular image so you can see down here in the bottom there's no fill light there like there typically is in lighting setup number three and I reversed this large Larson soft soft strip the 14 by 48 with 9 by 24 I used the 9 by 24 as the main light and this and the 14 by 48 as the kicker light so let's just like we always do here let's take a look at uh, his body and oops let's get this uh, changed here to uh, look as much like this as we can it's about like that um, for this particular image more importantly what I did with this 9 by 24 was that I raised it up typically uh, the the main light I have uh, you know at, at about the same height as the person not not much over their head when I'm using a big soft box um, the, when I use that Larson 14 by 48 as the main as the main light I might have it a little bit at a downward angle to the to the subject but that big 4 by 6 Larson soft box if you've watched any of the other lighting lessons um, that is typically you know the string in the center of that 4 by 6 is is right at their nose height but I thought that, uh, for no other reason, I thought that this a using the nine by twenty four as the as the main light would give me more of a theatrical kind of a spotlight effect, but yet still be uh, have the soft light, you know, as opposed to using like a parabolic with barn doors or something, which you might do on something like this. Um, so it still gave me that softness coming from that 9 by 24 but raising it up higher and pointing it down at a harder angle gave it what I think is that kind of a theatrical look. So this light, again I don't have a string on this side if you remember me talking about this before, the main lights I typically have on a string so I don't have a string on this because I this light is usually back over here as the kicker and so I just positioned it in and out again raised it up and then metered uh, you know somewhere in here on his cheek so I could get the exposure that I wanted you can see on his back here uh, if you look over here on the right side of the, on the image along his shoulder along his back going up here in his hair there's quite a bit of kicker light there because that's a much larger uh, a much larger light than the normal kicker light um, is this too hot here in his neck yeah should his ear glow like that no not so much but again I think it lends to the the theatrical look is this a is this a, a portrait I mean is it a portrait yes it's a portrait is it is it does it follow traditional head and shoulder portrait guidelines no let's go back here to the lighting still use the hair light as normal this this photoflex 9 by 36 which was fixed at the 
uh, fixed at the ceiling and pointed down and towards the back of his head. Um, background light. This is this background is a Joe Prosha Old Masters uh, blue painted background, um, and so you can see how I have that background light just hitting the background behind his shoulders. If anything, it should have been moved a little bit to the left. I don't like this hot spot here. I'd rather have that hottest spot right behind him and just give this little bit of a glow, you know, over his shoulders. Again, there's no fill light on here, so it's it's it, it, so obviously this is a really strong, uh, probably five to one light ratio between here and here. Um, and then this Larson 14 by 48 again, that was just moved in and out as the kicker light uh, to get this effect that I wanted. He's sitting on a posing stool, and as I remember, he has one foot up, uh, his right foot up, I think, on a block or something because he's resting resting the guitar on his knee. Um, what do I like about this pose and what do I not like about this pose? Let's, let's look at it a little bit bigger. I like the tight crop on this. It fills the image. It makes you concentrate just on him and I think it gives you more of a feeling. Again, I don't want to keep pounding on the theatrical image idea, but it gives you more of a feeling than a portrait if you were had been pulled back more and trying to create a, a portrait of a guy and his guitar. This is a more of an action shot almost. Um, I like the fact that there's not a lo whole lot of separation, just minimal separation between him and the background. Uh, you know, I, I, I like that background going dark again, as I already mentioned. I wish this was a little bit darker o over here. Uh, some small things, I think, with this tuxedo, that white cuff there is really important. I think that really sets that tuxedo off, and I wished that I had pulled that right cuff out a little bit further. But again, when I do these kind of photographs, I tell them to just go ahead and start playing. So I can, I, can, I don't really feel like I should move in there and say, hey, wait a minute, let me pull your cuff out. If anything, I should have adjusted that beforehand before we started taking the image. Again, uh, as I always say, when you get you know when you get the light nice and you and you get them uh, you know posed there he's got the outfit on he's got the guitar don't just take one image vary it a little bit so uh, you know I don't like to cover two images uh, you know because this is a this is a little bit different lighting setup here um, but you, this one here um, I added I turned the fill light on the fill light is what is is you know, brought this exposure up on this side of his face without that fill light, just like without that fill light, that this side of his face here would be this dark. But I turned the fill light on, probably at it, set it at about four to one or so. So that's really providing the main light here. And then I moved that 14 by 48 uh, strip box back here to camera left to his right and turn the power up on a little bit to create this kind of an outline on him here and on his hand. If anything, I think this actually would have been better had this been darker, that so that it, so that you really you really concentrated on his looking at his at his fingers here. So that's really about it for these two images. Um, you know, switch. This, this 14 by 48 when I'm using this is typically uh, a main light. I use it as a main light and this 9 by 24 is a kicker. But to get uh, to add that theatrical effect to this image, I used this smaller soft box as the main light and again raised it up pretty high and pointed it down at a hard angle, you know kind of imitating a, a spotlight on a stage or something coming down at him. 14 by 48 is that is that soft box or is that uh, kicker light back here a little bit of background light no fill light a little bit of hair light as normal and again I think the best thing you can do when you're posing someone playing an instrument is just to tell them to go ahead and start playing and you start taking pictures so that's it for posing lesson number four remember to visit seniorportraitposingguide.com and download your four volume set of Portrait Photography Posing Lighting and Idea Guides. They're completely free. Thanks for watching and have a great day.